everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I do handbag reviews, unboxings, comparison, and I'm currently traveling. I am in Sydney and I will be traveling around Australia a lot, so you'll hear me talk about my travels and everything. If you are interested in seeing my handbags in those travel areas, it's a good combination of both. If you visit my Instagram account, and then that's at clutch to carry all you'll see all of these in real life so it's easier to see what they look like. Today's video is an unboxing as I've promised in my previous video. It's one of the items that I've purchased on my trip and I'm very excited to show you what I got. If you have seen my wishlist video for 2019, you would have known that this, well, you could have guessed that this is one of the items. If you haven't seen it, I'll link them below so that you can go see it if you're interested. As I've mentioned, I purchased this on my trip and I'm very excited to use it. So I want to unbox it as soon as possible so that I could use it. So this is what it looks like in the bright yellow bag with Fendi on it. And it's kind of heavy. <laughs> and here we are. This is the box that it comes in and it's a magnetic closure right here. Inside we have the item and just the box. I love these boxes by the way because you can fold them down flat completely by lifting this area and just turning it flat. So if you're traveling, it's a great option. Okay, so this is the item that I have and it comes in this dust, like cotton dust bag with Fendi written on it. Any guesses? Leave them in the comments below. So this one's a long time coming. Here we are. I got the peekaboo in the mini size in the Celeria or Celeria leather in the asphalt gray color or dark gray. So it looks like this. It is gorgeous. Let me bring it closer so that you can see it. And here we are. So this is, like I said, in the Celeria leather, and you can see the pebbled material. It's kind of a pebbled cow material. So you, if you walk into the Fendi store, you'll see a lot of these bags in many different sizing, and I think a new one came out to be called, I think, the Micro. This one's in the mini size. It also comes in a medium size that's a bigger one. And then they have a lot of different styles similar to this, but it's called the Peekaboo Light, if I'm not mistaken. So it doesn't have this middle uh, compartment, or if you can see from the top, it doesn't have this middle section. And so it does make it a lot lighter. It's also a lot bigger, but it, I think it has a different feel to it. So you'll see what I mean when you go into the stores to check it out. Now, like I said, this was on my wish list for 2019. I did not state the color, I think, the dark gray color. At the time, I think I stated like a nude color, a pink color, and I've tried on these many, many times in this, many different stores, just trying to make sure I like it with the di if different outfits that I was wearing at the time. I ultimately went with this color because the, well, for several reasons. First reason is because I plan on using this bag for a long time. I love the structure, I love the design, I love just everything about it. So it's something that I could see myself using for many, many years to come. So I don't want it to be outdated. The color is also something that's very important to think about when if you don't want your bags to look outdated. Because while the colors look really nice and now, it could look dated you know, in five, ten years time. So I went with one that is very neutral. Now the uh, tan colored one, which actually they call Dove Gray, is really nice as well, very good neutral, but in this seasons they only had the one with the snake skin, I think? Yes, the snake water snake handle. I thought about getting that one because I don't have anything in water snake, but as I tried it on in different stores, I've also noticed that it kind of, the scales come up a little bit. And that's the nature of snake because that's how they breathe through their skin versus, say, cow hide or, you know, lamb skin, for example. 
it does lift and I don't like the feeling of that on my hand. And I've played around with the idea of putting a twilly on there which makes it look really nice and you could do that with this one too and change up the color because this is such a uh, well not boring but sort of just very plain color so you could dress it up with a twilly with many different colors and this color would go with almost just any color basically that you put on there but with the snake skin I didn't want to cover that up the whole time because sometimes you just want to you know you want to show it but I don't like the feel of it, especially when it starts to lift. It's like prickly. Not, I don't know, maybe my hands are more sensitive, but I feel like it, it's kind of rough and I didn't like that feeling. So I knew that if over time, if that's what's going to happen, I definitely would use it less because of the handle. So this bag is not, this one has the calfskin leather as well as here. It's pebbled here. It's also known as their Romano leather, I think. So it could be interchangeable but um, yeah this is the mini size like I said it comes one in one size smaller I chose this size because I have tried it on many times and every time I put in my essentials and I'll show you in a little bit what fits in here and this fits perfectly and it looks I think proportional on my body frame and I'm about I'm 5'1 about 155 centimeters so um, I'll try to insert some photos of me wearing it so that you can kind of see where it hits me Another good thing about this bag is that it does come with a crossbody strap, which I have here. I had asked them to put it in one of these little tiny baggies so they'll keep it safe. But this is what it looks like. And even the strap here, as you can see, is adjustable and removable. It has these circular clasps. And I love that it's adjustable and has a little strap hook to keep it from flying around. This one right now, let's see, it's on the second to the shortest one and it fits my height very well. I could probably make it one slot looser and that would still fit me okay, but that's just what I ended up with. One thing to note is that the lambskin version has the same strap available in, um, so that you could adjust it and remove it, but it is a lot thinner. I wanna say maybe a third of this length or a third of this width um, less. So I also that's another reason why I like the Celeria material because it's just a thicker strap so it's more comfortable. One thing you'll notice also with this bag is that it does have four feet, which is a characteristic that I really like about a bag. And that's because I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to have to worry about setting it down or holding it while I'm eating or something because I don't want to get the bottom damaged. The lambskin version of this size bag does not have the four feet, which I think is even, I don't know. It seems like that would be something you should put on lambskin because it's way more delicate. The lambskin is very, very supple. And every time I touch it, I like, I just go, oh my God, this is heaven. But I've also noticed a lot more wear and tear on the corners because of the lambskin's del delicate nature. Now with the Celeria, it is still soft, but it certainly wouldn't be as noticeable or it, the corners wouldn't wear as easily. And especially if you have feet, it does help it from getting damaged at the bottom. So that's another reason why I went with this uh, material instead of the lambskin. Another thing that I wanna point out is that let me, let me take this stuff out. It's stuffed right now. So that I keep it shape. Oh, and it comes with a little um, ring coat, which is really cute. So actually, I actually don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but inside here, there's a plaque. I might try to insert a photo of it instead, but there's a plaque here, and the plaque is specific to the Celeria material line. And it says, Fendi Celeria, can't read it. Something, I think it says handmade, and then there's a serial number written on here. Uh, and then, oh, 1925, so that's probably when Fendi was, I want to say probably established. And then it says Roma Italia. So in the lambskin bags, it does not have the silver plaque. And the reason why there's a silver plaque in the Celeria material is that all of these ones are handmade, hand stitched. You can see the stitching right along here, and it's all over the entire bag. So, and 
a, a very tr well trained artisan have to do this by hand. I am not sure how the lambskin ones are done. Um, I'm assuming it'll just be machine done, <laughs> whereas this one's hand done. I, I'm not too sure about that, but there is a serial number that would link back to who's made it, when they made it, and everything. So it kind of just adds to that special touch. So when you're paying that this much for a bag, you want to, I don't know, at least for me, I just want something to be as nice and as special as it can be, if that makes sense. <laughs> so this bag you might have seen many, many times before because it is a very popular bag. And I'll just go over some of the features in case you are not aware. But it does have two very distinct compartments and they're very similar in how it looks on the outside like just looking on the outside you can't tell which one's which but on the inside you can see that it is lined with the same Romano leather right here and then it's kind of like a suede on on the back side here so suede on this side and then the Romano leather but in a lighter color on this side same same for the other compartment so along the outside it's suede and along the inside it's a light Romano Celeria leather. So on one side of the compartment you'll see, actually let me just open this up even further, there's a little button clasp here that you can remove like so on either side and by doing that it'll open up the bag even more and so when sometimes when you see probably bigger sized peekaboos it will hang down a little bit and that's how it got its name peekaboo because it, if flops down and you can see the inside. So on one side of this bag you'll see a zipper pocket like so and it's very very narrow you can't really put much in it but if I would imagine if you have something very important you can put it in there for safekeeping. On the other side there's a slip pocket so this is where you could put like a credit card ID something that you want to have quick access to. As you can see the inside of this is a different color than the outside however if I chose the dove gray color it may not show quite as nicely because then the dove gray would look the same as the inner side. And the inside is usually, all the ones that I've seen were this lighter tan color. So that's another reason why I went with a dark color because then when it peeks out you can see a difference in color. I also want to point out that if you have seen a previous video of mine, I did an unboxing of a Fendi Defender and that video I'll link below, but you could see that the Defender that I got had the black trim on it and I thought a handle with a darker color would go much better with the Defender. Now I'm not going to always wear the Defender with this bag, but I just like it to have that option if I wanted to. So that's another reason why I got this bag. Alright, so the last thing I guess I wanted to point out of the construction of this bag is that you can close it by pushing this through so there's a middle area right here where there are two kind of nubs <laughs> and you do that and then twist and that closes the bag and you can keep one side open one side closed however you like it you don't have to button these because as soon as you turn these things they they don't need to be um, clasped yet so here we are the bag. Let me just start putting some stuff in there so you can kind of get a general idea of what can fit in this bag. So these items you'll be very familiar with because I've shown it, I've shown it many times already. I have my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the Empreinte leather and then I will put my phone. This one is the Pixel 2 and then I have usually some sort of external battery. This one in particular is from Kate Spade and then a lip item in this particular case. This one is a lip balm. And then I usually like to put in like a little baggie. This one folds, or it's folded, but it opens up to sort of like a tote bag. And it's very lightweight so that, you know, if I if I go anywhere and I need to get some groceries or something, then I can easily have one. So let me just put in these items in no particular side. So first my phone, it has to fit my phone. And as you can see, tons of space in here. And then let's say my wallet goes in there, and again, tons of space. Um, charger can go right in there. I'm just going to toss everything in here and just show you. Okay, so as you can see, I've, all those things that I've showed you fits 
inside one side of this bag. So here's my phone, wallet, baggie, charger, and I don't know where the lip thingy went. It's in here somewhere. And it could close like this very easily. From the side, it doesn't look any different. Oh, I, I see the lip item. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like that. Now let's say I want to put my sunglasses, eyeglasses, what have you. Well, here's my sunglass case. It currently is it's a hard case with one pair of sunglasses in there. So it looks like that and I can easily fit that on this side of the bag like this. <clears throat> and then everything else is still on the other side and I can close it. Can I close it? Yes. There's still some plastic thingies on there, so it's hard to like turn it, but you can see that it still fits very nicely. But I can also keep it open. I don't think it'll fall out. See? It's open, but it won't fall out because the it tapers at the top. So that's this, and of course I can put the eyeglass case because it's thinner than this one. So this bag can hold a ton and like I said it doesn't look that much bigger than some of my other bags but it, it surprisingly fits so much of course it will get very heavy depending on what you put in it and so you have to be careful not to overstuff this bag just because you know you don't want you don't want to have a back problem but the crossbody strap also comes in handy because this one you can actually literally hold it like this depending on how big your arm is you can hold it at the crook of your arm like this you can uh, it's very yeah I, w I can't put it on my shoulder so if it does get very heavy the crossbody strap is awesome because it can hook to basically right here and then you can wear it hands free like this all tangled now. Okay, like this. So I do want to point out though that this, unlike some of the other bags that I have, does not swivel. It doesn't have a thing that swivels. So when you clip it on, you have to make sure it is in the right position. Otherwise, it will be tangled. So that's just one thing that you have to pay attention to. So there we are, and yeah, very handy, and then you can hold it, and then it can also be, you can hold it on this short top handle, and just let this hang, and so you don't have to remove it. So I think that's all I need, wanted to say. I'll try to put the dimensions of this bag below and link to it. There, this bag is has been around for a very long time, so I don't see it going out of style anytime soon. Fendi always comes out with different types of this bag, meaning color, meaning style, or sorry, material, and like I said recently they came out with a different size, they also came out with a different design slightly, sort of like this, called the x Light, I believe, and so yeah, it definitely is going to be around for a while, so while this doesn't necessarily hold its value as well as say some of the more classic bags such as Chanel, it does I think the aesthetic, the look of it, will be around for a while. So if you are debating on it, definitely go try it out. Definitely go see what this is about. If you love the lambskin version, which I do love, you can always get the Defender cover so that you can protect it from scratches or you know anything else like that. But if you have never felt the Romano or Celeria leather, definitely go give it a try because I think this is a really, really good material. And um, like I said, I have a an older Celeria leather in the baguette, and it's held up really nicely. It's gotten so soft and supple that, yeah, it's it's very, very nice, but it's still very durable. So yeah, um, I'll link this below. I'll try to link some of this bag in the resale market in case you are interested. One of the good things about buying it secondhand is that you could find something very new, but the prices will be decreased so that if you ever want to sell it, you're not out that much money. But like I said, this is something that I know I will have for a while, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Okay, so I think that's all I have to say. If you have any questions or if there's something that I did not cover and you are interested 
and knowing, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!